Hello students, in today's lesson, we are going to learn about the shortcut trick to find out whether a given function is 1, 1 or injective or not. Well, as usual, we know that we used to find the 1, 1 and off function. There are three methods that we used to do it. One is like algebraic way. And one is the geometrical way of finding it and the shortest one that we will learn today for the entrance point of view and for the MCQ questions it will be very helpful for the students it is the calculus way of finding whether a given function is 1 1 or not like I said earlier algebraic way that we used to write in the descriptive answers for the CPSC grade 11 or 12 what we used to do is we used to take up two elements X, X and Y or sometimes students used to take X1 and X2 for the set A and the set B which is the colony and they ended up getting F of X is equal to F of Y or sometimes they should call it. Basically X and Y are not equal. So if the image F of X is equal to F of Y is happens, it means both X and Y is the same. That is how we used to ended up writing in the descriptive answer. Whereas the geometrical way of writing or showing up one one and on two let us take an example for a given curve. If I draw the vertical line test for this particular X, my line vertical line should cut the given functions curve at exactly one point. Whereas if the vertical line test for a given set of points for X, if it crosses, OK, or if it has the same image of Y, then we call it is not one one. That is obvious to do the geometrical way. But now we'll be learning the calculus way. That is, we will do the differentiation and we will work it out. How are you going to do it when you do the derivative test? So for the derivative test, what do you have to do is you just have to work it out for a given function derivative. Let us take a function y is equal to f of x. You will find the derivative, first order derivative, and you will check whether the value for that is greater than zero or less than zero. So in both the case, if it is there, either greater or lesser, in both the case, you can directly say it is one one. Whereas if it at times giving you greater than zero or at times giving you the lesser value for a given set of intervals, then we can say it is not one one. It is many to one. Is it OK? So that is what you will do for your entire set of functions, whatever is given and when you are writing the comparative exam, you can easily do this. Let us take some examples which I have written already on the board. You can work it out with the given trick that I have given you. Let us take first example. We'll find the derivative of it, derivative of the given function f of x. But please remember students, what, do you, what you will see after that is you will have to closely monitor your domain in all the functions, whatever functions may be. Now here f dash x would be x square is 2x and 2. My domain is from minus 1 to 1. Let us take 0 by substituting in it. OK, what answer I'm going to get? 2, which is greater than 0, positive value. In fact, if, if I would have got less and also, I would say it is 1, 1 function. Isn't it very simple? Like the earlier traditional way of doing it is by taking x and y and equating. This is the easiest trick for the calculus. Let us take another example which is given to us. Remember your domain is positive real numbers. Function is so find the derivative of it. e power x derivative is e power x as we know. So it is going to be the same thing but due to the chain we will further differentiate the power which will give me 3x square minus 3. Upon taking 3 common I'll get e raised to x cube minus 3x plus 2 x square minus 1. Since your domain is the set of positive numbers, what all value you will keep it over here, it's definitely going to be greater than 0 positive. In this case also, you can say your function is 1, 1. Isn't it very simple, students? I hope you got it now. Rest of the questions also, you can work it out, but we will do in this particular video all the questions. You will get a clear and idea about how to do it. Now, let us take another question f from r to r i mean both real numbers negative and positive values now i have a function which is in terms of x in the power 
if I do the derivative, I know derivative of a raised to x is a raised to x log a. So going with that formula, I'll get two times x square minus x log two. But again, chain differentiation for this one, I'll get two x minus one. Now, since this r is a real line, which consists of both negative and positive, and I have log, which is defined only for the positive. But if I write x as zero, you can see I'm getting a negative number, which is less than zero. And if I take x as a bigger value, let us take positive one. So I'm getting a positive. So at times I'm getting lesser, at times I'm getting uh, positive. It means it is not one one, it is many to one. Clear? So let us take another, the final question, which I have given in the set of questions. Whereas this one, again, my domain is a real number, which is both negative and positive. My function is G. That is how I wrote it. Irrespective of what function they have given you, G dash X derivative, U by V method, if you apply the formula U by V that we have, it is V U dash minus U V dash by V square. So by V derivative of U, which is X, which is one minus U derivative of V, which is one plus X square. One is zero, X square is two X. Smartly, you can do it. One plus X square whole square because it is V square without differentiation. So numerator minus two X square plus X square will give me one minus X square by one plus X square whole square. This value definitely is going to be positive no matter what you keep, but we should worry about the numerator because it is a real number, negative and positive. If I equate this with zero, I'm getting X as positive and negative one. Taking our number line now, minus infinity to infinity, keeping minus one and one, taking a value between this interval, let us take minus two. If I substitute over here, minus two raised to two, definitely it's even power, so it will be positive. But since it is four, I'm getting a negative answer, negative three. Okay, so it means negative. Let us take a number between this interval, zero, Substitute over here in place of x, 1 minus 0, 1 plus 0, it means positive. You got it. Bang on. So it means 1, it's at times increasing, at times decreasing, negative and positive. It means it is not 1, 1. So these two functions were non, not 1, 1, whereas these two were 1, 1. I hope you like the video. Please like, share and subscribe and forward it to others. Thank you.